So my AC has been weird in my truck for the last three years, ever since I purchased it for my brother. Ever since I've had it, it's been a little weird. And I wanna show you what the issue is. So the issue is when I turn it on, number one, I don't get anything. Number two, I don't get anything. Number three, I get nothing. But number four, it blows. So four is the only one that works. Apparently the only part you need for an issue like that is a blower motor resistor. Now I'm no stranger to this. A couple years ago, I did it on my Honda Pilot. I replaced my blower motor resistor and it fixed my AC issues. But I thought the AC blower motor resistor, if it blew, it would take out everything. And this only partially works. So we're gonna see if we can just replace the AC blower motor resistor and get it to work. So the AC blower motor resistor is pretty easy to get to. If you look down here and just come underneath, you'll see that wire, that little white thing, that's it. So we're gonna take that apart today. These are four millimeter bolts. We'll take those off and then there's a little clip on the back here, just pops right out. <laughs> As you can see, ugh, something exploded down back there that's not good. We're gonna see if this is gonna work. Well, let's try the four millimeter bolt. That's what the internet said it was. That's wrong, that's too small. Let's try a seven millimeter spanner. That's way too big. So the answer is somewhere in between. It's not a four and it's not a seven. So it's either five or six millimeters or it's not metric based at all and it's like uh, you know, something else. So we're just gonna grab it with some pliers. So that's the old one. This is the new one. We should probably like plug it in and see if it works, but I think it's gonna work or whatever. Let's see these old ones. Yeah, I would go out on a limb and say that's not good. I'm having a hard time holding this in one place. All right, this is the old one. That's the new one. I had to get my head in there to put it in the right spot. So I couldn't show you exactly where it's going, but there's a little sleeve that it kind of slips in. There's really only one place it can go. So it shouldn't be too hard to put in, especially if I had something to hold onto the screw, it would be so much easier and to try and do it by hand. Okay, now that I've rounded off the bolts and done all that, that is back into place. Let's see if this actually worked. Got my keys, slip it in. All right, level one. You can hear it. Two. Oh yeah. Three. Four. And it works. All you had to do is replace the AC blower motor resistor. So, what I learned from this is if you ever have an issue with AC blowing out, whether it's a partial issue or a full on issue, just go buy yourself an AC blower mo motor resistor off Amazon. They're a lot cheaper than getting the OEM one. Maybe the OEM one works better. I don't know. I've never had an issue with one off Amazon. Mine was completely blown out. Buy a new one for 20 bucks and see if that fixes it. It's worked for me twice now. That's it, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.